the guy does look like a mauler in the run. Bit of a late riser, didn't see it coming. He was, he was projected to go quite a bit later than this, um, even just you know a couple of days before the draft, and then all of a sudden he's, he's shot up Jack Fords. And he seamlessly, calm as you like, moved over to left tackle and had one of the best games of his season, playing a position he hadn't played. Into the fourth round we go. Um, Anthony Bradford, the guard out of LSU. Another interesting pick. Um, not particularly a polished player in pass protection, but the guy does look like a mauler in the run. Uh, the, the run blocking, I should say, rather than uh, pass blocking or whatever I said, run blocking. Um, yeah, he looks very good in the run in the run game. Um, and I think that's why the Seahawks force have taken him because you, you, you look at the way they value the running back position in this year's draft and they want someone to be able to block for these new young studs that they've got in the backfield. Um, so they've gone and got one of the better run blocking guards in the draft. Um, bit of a late riser, didn't see it coming. He was, he was projected to go quite a bit later than this, um, even just you know, a couple of days before the draft and then all of a sudden he's, he's shot off draft boards and uh, and we picked him in the fourth. Um, I'll go to you, Mitch, first. Do you know anything more about this guy than what perhaps the consensus is? Yeah, I, th- this is John Schneider falling in love. This isn't Pete Cow, this is John Schneider. Now, the reason I say that is he's someone we brought in for interviews, but before we'd even done that, John Schneider had been in person to watch him play. And one of the games that John Schneider watched him play, they had an injury to a tackle and he like seamlessly, left yeah, left tackle. And he seamlessly, calm as you like, moved over to left tackle and had one of the best games of his season playing a position he hadn't played. And from that point onwards, LSU considered him a guard slash tackle. So from that, I see I see John Schneider being very impressed with the character, the the confidence in himself, the a bit the 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 multiplayer ability of a guy that's oh he's not a great pass protector, but stick me in left tackle where that is literally your job, and still smashes it, you know. So I think I think John Schneider had a had a really big grade on Bradford, um, whereas other teams in the league perhaps were aware of these things but hadn't seen it in the flesh and hadn't sort of got the full the full scope of it. So. Um, the way you described him, I completely agree with. I think he's more of a mauler. He's a run. He's a run fit. He is the anti um, D. Lou. Mm. When we when we drafted D. Lou out of LSU as well, actually in a similar round, I think he was a third. Mm. Third, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Um, when we had, when we picked up D. Lou a few years back, he was all pass pro and not not run game oriented. Um, it was a keep keep uh, Russell Wilson happy kind of pick, wasn't it? At the time, it was oh look, but well, they've gone out and got a, they've invested in the offensive line. That's got to make Russ happy, and it's a guy who excels in pass pro. Now we've now we've got a, a decent a decent offensive line. It's certainly serviceable. We're looking to get the most out of Ken Walker, and they've taken a pa- a run pro guy. So I, I I like the pick in that way. We've got we've got people who specialise in a few different things across the line, and we've now got someone who can cover. Charles Cross or, or Abraham if they go down, which I think was a big, fragile point in our offense, because I don't I've not seen enough from Stone Forsyth yet to to be convinced that he comes in and covers a suitable suitable level. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point about him potentially being a little bit versatile, being able to play on the perimeter as well. Um, Pez, any thoughts on this on this pick from you? Everything Mitch said. Everything Mitch <laughs> said. Nice and easy, Josh. Yeah. Yeah, we said it absolutely more in the run game that I've, I've watched highlights of this guy where he has just driven people into the dirt because he refuses to lose. Mm. He doesn't just sort of hold someone and that's it. He wants to dominate people on that line, which for me is exactly what I want a guard to do. The fact, like Mitch said, John's fallen in love because he's seen that versatility of guard slash tackle perfect for us um i'm looking forward to seeing if he gets into the starting lineup yeah he, he's, i think he's certainly got a chance from where he's been drafted um i think it was more of a sixth or seventh round pick. yeah beefy Maybe boy not. phil haynes is still there as well beefy he gets boy, phil in, haynes. Uh, yeah he's got a start camp. contract yeah so we'll see but i think that they, they definitely obviously love him enough to take him higher than what people thought he was going to go. So maybe that projects well for his chances to start. Um, So it'll be interesting to see. I don't really know how to grade it because I don't know an awful lot about him. Um, So I will just go for a a nice down the middle sort of B, B minus and and hopefully let him surprise us a little bit and see if we've got a bit of a steal there. Um, Pez? Pez Pez isn't your trenches guy. No, he's not. Ungraded. He's a big, he's a big boy. 
So it's B. A big boy. A big boy B. I like it. Josh. Um I, just much to quote Mitch, due to what happened later on in the draft, I would have graded him higher, thinking that as an extreme position of need. But based on the fact that we uh drafted Olu Olu, I was like, Oh, okay. So that means that Brown is probably going to Although we may go into centre, which means Brown has got the potential to go into guard. It, it, yeah, it's 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 a weird one to grade. I'm going to stick with a B plus because I really like him as a player, and that the the run, the run blocking ability could really open up some massive doors for our our four running backs. Um, B plus. Okay, I like it, Mitch. Um, it's it's a C for me, um, oh, and that seems bitch. really it seems very harsh. I'm I'm <laughs> high on him as a player. Um, I'm just not as high as we drafted him. Um, having yeah. said that, I wouldn't I wouldn't rotate any of the picks around and say we should take in this player higher or whatever. Um, I do what I do really like on on Josh's point. If Evan Brown moves to centre because Olawatomi pushes him out. And then you've got Haynes and, and Brown competing. Pete loves the competition, by the way, for spots, especially in, in mm-hmm. free season. And then it means Bradford's competing as well for a guard spot and the tackle spot. Tackle spot. That's a situation that is gonna gonna get the most out of all of last year's tackles. Mm-hmm. Out of this, you know, I just feel like that ignites a very Pete Carroly preseason offensive line battle and it'll get the best oh, out yeah. of a lot of people because i was going to say we've still got jake Curran on the, the squad we as well yeah so he's a guard he's a do it all yeah is, is do we still have him i thought they cut him no Curran's still there i think uh, yeah he is sorry yeah he's a right tackle death um yeah. but like you said do you know how you said it's a very john snydery pick yeah. i'd say it's a pete carroll one because pete carroll loves a guard like a old lineman who can play multiple positions and it's yeah, almost like he's back agree. to his old tricks again. Yeah. Of you've got a centre who can play guard, you've got a guard who can play tackle, a tackle who can play guard, and he just fucking loves it like a little puppet master. It's just right. versatility, more, isn't it? Yeah, and the more people that compete, he's just hedging. I love that. He's just the fucking reason, hedging. The only reason I mentioned uh, John Schneider in there is that I I've not heard many stories of John Schneider going in person off the back of a scouting report and wanted to go and see it there first. Is. And I think if you go if you go to a game and you see a guy do what he did in that game, just seamlessly play the hardest position on the O-line at the drop of a hat and have his best game of the season, it's not an awful lot he could have done to be more impressive on that very same day that John Schneider went. So I think that's why we've ended up reaching for him a bit, just to make sure we get him. I think John Schneider was really sold. Yeah, fair enough. Interesting.